Well, hello, thank you for joining me again. I bet you didn't expect to see me this soon after my microneedle with me video, but I would be remiss if I missed the opportunity to check in with you two days after that microneedle session. That, so let's first go over the state of my skin two days after the procedure. It is, and I will zoom in really closely, but I feel that the focus and the light is better from this distance. So this is my skin dry without any foundation two days after the procedure. And it is flaky. Basically in the mornings, days one and two following the procedure, I wake up, use my serums with the exception of vitamin C, slather on moisturizer, and then a mineral sunscreen. And currently I'm using, current my current mineral sunscreen of choice is the May Love, which I love. So on day two, I do frankly notice that my skin is dehydrated. It is beginning to flake. If you use prescription strength tretinoin or Retin-A, then you'll be very familiar with the kind of flaking. It is starting around my nostril. And these dry patches around my nostril in the winter are not uncommon, again, because I use Retin-A regularly. I think it's important to know that if you microneedle, you can still go out the day after your procedure. Certainly you can return to work with some level of normalcy. I would have been comfortable putting foundation on my face today to play it safe and to be kind to my skin. I just didn't want to use any foundations today. At work, I wear a face mask constantly anyway, so it's not like anyone can see that I'm peeling around my nose. Now, by tomorrow, I do expect that peeling to be all over the areas where I microneedled at a medical depth. That's the 0.5 millimeters. I likely will not peel on my forehead where I only went 0.25 millimeters because it's just not deep enough to cause that immediately sloughing of your skin, of that first layer of skin. In yesterday's video, there was so much material to cover and I didn't really want to go long. I feel that, again, the stress that I'm under with my mom's health and my own health and daylight savings time, don't forget that. I do, I am showing more stress on my face than normal and keep that in mind with some of the sagging that you see. It's just like emotional trauma, but that will go away once once life normalizes again, if it ever normalizes again. And once I, I should probably incorporate meditation or something like that. But thank you all for your kind comments on yesterday's video. I really, your warmth spreads warmth in my soul. And human community, really, that's what, that's what our beauty community is all about. Uh, not just coveting what everybody else is using and going through that wild commercial urge of acquiring things that we don't currently have. So this video is not meant to inspire you to go out and run out and get a microneedle device. I thought about it for about a year before I purchased. It's a fairly, like any kind of skincare technology, there's significant research showing that microneedling medical depth, 0.5 millimeters or above, does induce collagen production in the skin, but it does so by creating mini wounds. So the value to you is just you get to see the impact of the my third monthly microneedle treatment on 53-year-old real-world skin and I will get a series of close-ups now that I will use on subsequent monthly microneedling journeys which I will share with you so that you can see what that journey looks like. All right, I am going to pull the camera towards me. And this is not a flattering lens for proportions, but I do want to get some really good close-ups of my problem areas, and I'll point those out as we go. 
So I have a little bit of acne scarring here on my chin. This area on my face is where I, where I see texture. It is not just the folding in my nasal labial fold, but it's this is sort of my problem pore area. It's not just pores though. There is a slackening of skin tone. I have not done my myolift for months in all honesty, but I will pick that up again this month if again my life is a roller coaster right now, so I can't promise that. The another problem area is this crease in the center of my philtrum. And of course, if you're over 40, you're probably concerned with wrinkling along your lip line. This area of my face is sort of the same issue as its companion texture right through here. And of course, crow's feet. And I meant to let me back off that light so you can see my crow's feet without, just while I share with you this area. So you can really see the texture in here. And of course, if I smile, you will be able to see that texture. Now on my forehead, my forehead is pretty smooth generally if I'm stressed out like I was yesterday doing or like I was during the procedure, any kind of pain, you can you can see I do have wrinkles. No one would ever accuse me of having Botox. Not that that's a bad thing, but generally um, my forehead is fairly smooth, but it does show expressions. So I hope those close-ups help. I'm happy to share those close-ups with you. It, not just for you, but for me as I document this journey with microneedling. I can't wait to see the footage and after my fourth treatment compared to this, compared to the close-ups that I just captured and future treatments after that. As a final thought, I want to emphasize that I find that it's worth it to me to be able to bring those spa-like experiences into the privacy of my own home where I can put keep my robe on and brew myself some tea and really just have a self-care morning. That alone is a real treasure to me and the skincare benefits are just added bonus. Thank you again for joining me. If you're interested in tracking my journey and you're new to my channel, please consider hitting subscribe. I'm a teeny weeny channel, nothing linked in the description box is affiliate. I purchase with my own money everything that you see me use on this channel. And I share that with you just for full transparency. Ugh. And I'm just, I feel so tired. I know my eye bags are ginormous and I feel a little self-conscious not wearing any makeup on camera, but thank you for your time. My next video is going to be a an overview of my 2021 planner setup. I've got a real system now that I love and I tend to be a little fetishy with paper products. So if that sounds interesting to you, I hope you join me for that one too. Ciao.